Hello everybody! Today we're going to play our piano and later we're going to do our Nehemiah story. Welcome everybody! We're going to do our piano tutorial and we'll do some other songs. There once was a man named Nehemiah and he and he lived in Jerusalem and he was the cupbearer to the king and the cupbearer's job is to taste a little bit of the king's wine to see if someone is trying to poison the king and he will die himself instead of the king. And that's what a cupbearer's job is. And Nehemiah's time was when all his people, who were the Jews, had suffered because the Babylonians had took over their home and broke down their city wall. And when Nehemiah heard this news, he was he was shocked, and he prayed to God that he will be able to help. He served the king. King Artaxerxes and and one day when he was giving wine to the king the king noticed that he was sad and he asked why and the king said and Nehemiah said that his his homeland had been burned down by the Babylonians. And the king pitied him and gave everything he needed. And not only that, he told the government that they should help Nehemiah. Nehemiah and 
instructed the people what they should do, like build, like passing the bricks to each other, adding cement on the wall, and guarding it. Everyone did what they were told to. They, they did anything and everything that Nehemiah did, get them to do. And Nehemiah was happy, very happy. But there was one thing he really loved doing, worshiping and praying to God. He never ever stopped doing it, even though the people had already baked him and what he wanted. And there were three men who didn't like Nehemiah. They were both so cruel and they didn't even like him one little bit, not even. even one thing about him. They wanted to destroy him and make the people not obey him. They had planned. Their first plan was to... Trickery. Trickery. Yeah, trickery. They... No! Mockery! Oh, mockery! Mockery. Yeah, mockery. And they kept on saying bad things to Nehemiah like, Do you call that a wall? It could be blown down by one piece of breath. But Nehemiah and his people kept on working and ignored the three men. The three men were so angry, they had another trick up their sleeve. Their next trick was... Attack. Attack, yeah. So they attacked. They brought a lot of soldiers with them. With with shields and swords and s swords and spears but Nehemiah was faithful the people who were complaining went to Nehemiah whom he was praying to God and he told the people that that they shouldn't worry because Nehemiah was there and God was with them as well the people trusted Nehemiah So they attacked back. And there were some signs, some tricks with for Nehemiah that some should stand guard with their weapons on each side and one should have and the builders should have their materials and their weapons at each side. When the trumpet sounds, they should join the fight. And their plan worked. Well, there, there's one thing that you should learn that God doesn't always um, answer our prayers like in the way we want to and the three men were so angry and so scared of Nehemiah's team and they noticed that they were winning so they started to retreat retreat means to go back and not join. They put the shield over their heads and tried to protect themselves and they ran and ran back. Their next trick up their sleeves was to send Nehemiah a letter. They did. They said to Nehemiah that that they must come and join and talk to them. But Nehemiah said, sorry, I'm busy. He ignored the letter and he kept on building. They're, they're, they tried several tricks. They mm -hmm. made them all work, but none of them would work. After 52 days, the wall was finished. It was standing straight and tall and nothing could break it down. Thanks to God, all the people praised Nehemiah and said thank you to him, but Nehemiah said, don't thank me, thank God. So from now on, they started to be good. And also Ezra, a priest, was was called by the people and the people told Ezra to please read out the holy law 
and Ezra asked why. And the people said that they wanted to praise God and say how sorry. Ezra agreed and he said it out loud. The people fasted and prayed all day. They refused to eat and they just started kneeling down and praising God and saying that they were sorry that they sinned. And God forgave them all. And Jerusalem was a nice place. And for Nehemiah, he was so happy and he's a good example of leadership and the moral of the story is always believe in god and never give up and also god always answers our prayers but in not the way we expect it to be or in the way we want it to be and also always believe in him and good things will happen in life the now it's my turn and my own version. Ta -da! Ta -da! There once was a man named Nehemiah, and he was the cupbearer to a king. To the king. Mm, what is his name again? King Artaxerxes. King Artaxerxes. And one day, when he was giving wine to the king the king noticed why he was very sad and he told him why he said and nehemiah said my my city walls are have all fallen down and that's why i am sad the king felt pity on him and he asked all his servants to bring the wood he needed materials. and also materials and they kept working until they finished the wall but they didn't finish it yet three people saw it all saw it all. They were very wicked and he did and they didn't want Nehemiah to win. So they planned mockery. And they all said, Do you call that a wall? You're copying my mockery. It's okay. Do you call that a wall? It can be blown for a little piece of bread. He didn't listen and he kept working to just finish that. And the and the tree man said if mockery wouldn't work, then what should we do? And the other man said, We yeah, have then we have to attack. So they brought a lot of soldiers. Can't count them up. One second. And they started to attack and the trumpet sounded boom ba bang ma 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 And everyone who was working for Nehemiah heard it and they fought it with them, fought, fought with them, and they were scared. So they decided to go back to their home. And they, the wicked, all run away, and the trumpet stopped. The soldiers stopped. Everyone stopped, and they all cheered. And, and they were and the wicked people were very angry and they decided trickery and they told a old man uh, yeah <laughs> he told the 
old man is he Jew or not? Is is the old man a Jew or not? Uh, he is. Yeah, I think he is. They asked an old man who was a Jew, and he followed. And he followed. Because they thought they will attack again. And he told a lie to me, Nehemiah, in an old tent. He, he said that they can only be saved in the war by temple. But Nehemiah said, I think the temple is only used for prayer. And he, and he was... The old man was shocked. He was frightened. And finally, he told the truth. Nehemiah forgave him. Yeah? <laughs> I love Planetine. Wanna do that song again?